Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we have a Brunhild MTL RTA by Vapefly and German 103 team. In this video we're going to be doing the unboxing of it. I will show you the RTA itself, I will show you the build and then we'll go back on top, vape it and talk about it a little more. So let's dive down now. And here's the packaging for the Brunhild MTL RTA by Vapefly and German 103 team. Top coiler MTL RTA on the side, and at the back we have some features, some warnings, scratch and check part, and the color is stainless steel. Here we have the Vapefly social media and contacts as well. Jump it here. It's the card by Vapefly and German team. Team member list. And here's our RTA in stainless steel color. We'll go over it shortly. Here's the spare glass tube. And at the bottom we have the user manual for the RTA. We have the airflow inserts. We have baggy with some extras, stainless steel rods. Post screws, O rings, try tool, and the Allen key. And here we have the coil and the cotton as well. Plus, you will get the spare drip tip. The Brownhilt MTL RTA by Vapefly, made of stainless steel primarily. It's 23 millimeters in diameter. Now let me show you the original Brownhill Dual Coil RTA and as you can see the outer design of it hasn't changed much except that we don't have the side airflow on this one on the MTL one anymore only the bottom airflow and the size of course changed this one is 65 millimeter tall 23 millimeter diameter and at the top we have the 510 Delrin drip tip with the O-rings and here's enough area to put any other of your 510 drip tips and we get the spare one as well and here's how it's going to look like like this a little bit taller below here we have the heat sink to prevent the burning of your lips down there let me find it we have the fill port for the tank we have three water drops here to show you where is it and if we twist the cap to other side here we have the airflow inlet hole for the bottom airflow and down here we have the tank section tank holds up to 5 ml of EGUS in standard version and 2 ml in the European TPD version and here through the glass we can see the stainless steel rods which will transfer the e-juice up to your wicks. At the bottom here we have the protruding 510, the name of it and the serial number. So now let's get inside of it. Let's remove the cap first. Let me show you the cap again. And as you can see it's flat on the top there and we have a little dome shaped space just up just on the very top which will be your chamber our info airflow inlet hole we have no stoppers on it and the deck is really simple and easy to build on it we have two posts and the uh, post screws on the each side hex screws so it doesn't matter which way is your coil wrapped here we have the ports for the cotton and the stainless steel rods are popping out. In the middle we have the airflow hole and it's threaded. It's designed for you to put this airflow inlets and that way you can adjust the tightness of your draw. Now let me show you a little bit closer. And the sizes of this insert, 6 insert, and this one is 0.9 millimeter, 1.2, 1.4, 1. 
8, 2.1 and 2.5 millimeter. And for myself, I find working the best is this two one, 1.2 and 1.4. With the smallest one, it gets a little bit too tight. And I guess with the biggest one here, you can get away with um, restricted direct lung hit. Now, let me take out one to show you. So it's threaded here, like a grub knot, and you just screw it down to the deck. Now let me show you the tank part. So to change the glass or to clean it, you simply unscrew the bottom part, this stainless steel frame. And the glass is here. We have the o-ring on the bottom. Here's our stainless steel rods, which will transfer the liquid up there. And here's the hole for the juice filling port. Now let's assemble it back. Put the tap cap on and our drip tip. So now let me show you the one I'm using. It's just the same color here. Have some juice inside, free base liquid. And I changed the drip tip as well. This one is a little bit taller and more curvy shape. It's more comfortable for the MTL style vaping. Now let me show you the deck inside. Here I have some Clapton coil inside. MTL Clapton coil and inner diameter is 2.5 millimeters. I pulled it down all the way, almost closer to the airflow hole. That way the draw will be even more tighter. And as you can see, 2.5 millimeter coil and you still have the space so I guess you can also use the 3 millimeter. It's quite a lot of space here for the MTL RTA. And I had no problems with wicking as well so this steel rods working fine. Let's open up our airflow. Now let's check the resistance. So it's 0 0.7, 0 0.7 on coil. The mod is Vapor SO Target Mini, if you're interested in. So this is how it looks like, the whole set. Now let's go back on top. Let's vape it and talk about it a little more. And we're back on top with the Bronhild MTL RTA. I have the free base nicotine juice inside, around 10 milligram and a 1.2 millimeter insert, airflow insert inside. So let me take a hit. It's a nice and comfortable MTL vape with the tight cigarette-like draw. And the flavor is on point with this one. The MTL Clapton coil does its job well. Not much things to complain about this tank, maybe other than the airflow. The airflow is single-sided on this one, so some people maybe will be bothered by the sound. It's like depends which side is closer, your left or right ear, so only that ear will hear the sound of the airflow. Personally, I don't care much about that, but still it's worth mentioning. And the other thing is the design, it's tallness. The, to tell you the truth, personally, I don't like too long tanks, especially the original version. The Origi original version was like around this tall. However, this one is really pretty in design, but still it will be, it will be the taller than the most of the MTL tanks on the market but it's really up to individual tastes in the design. Otherwise, it's a great product by Vapefly and 103 German, good RTA or RDTA. And basically, we covered everything, so if you find this video informative and helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. 
If you haven't done it yet, thank you for watching us and we will see you in our next videos.